Day 11, we are midway through the program, or a little bit more than midway if you want to be super specific about it. Today we are doing a full body, so here is our exercise overview. We are starting with one minute of squat to press. Then moving into 30 seconds of push-ups. My chest is still a little sore from day nine, so I'm doing push-ups from the knees today. One minute of bicep curls. Notice my hand positioning, the positioning of the dumbbells. These are hammer curls. A 30 second plank from the knees or the feet. One minute of tricep extensions, back flat, neck neutral, arms in line with the body. 30 seconds shoulder press. The positioning of the dumbbells is your choice today. I'm sticking with a neutral grip like I'm using for the squat to press. Then into one minute single leg RDLs, 30 seconds each leg. Now this is an advanced movement. So if balance wise, this is too difficult for you at this point, you can go ahead and do your basic RDL, which we've done a few times, which I'm showing you now here. And then finishing off with 30 seconds of mountain climbers. There are two versions of this, the one that I'm doing now where you're just stepping and then a more advanced version where you're jumping. Now that's a good amount of exercises per round. So we'll only be doing two rounds together. Let's get warmed up. All right, right into Frankenstein's, you know the drill, full body warm up today. Hope you are feeling rested and recovered after yesterday's stretch day. And if you're planning on trying the single leg RDL for the first time today and you're unsure about form, take your cell phone and go ahead and film yourself doing a few reps of it. If not, and you have a full length mirror, go ahead and just do a few reps in front of the mirror. All right, switch into a knee tuck. There's a reason that there are hordes of mirrors all over gyms and it's not so people can take selfies and admire themselves. So if you don't have a personal trainer or a knowledgeable workout partner who can critique your lifts, it's your responsibility to make sure that you're executing them correctly. Go ahead and switch into your quad stretch. In my opinion, video is the best way to check form because when you're looking in the mirror, it's hard because you're trying to focus on so many things that you'll miss certain aspects of your form that could be improved on. And filming these videos has 100% reinforced that opinion of mine. Just watching these videos back, I've noticed plenty about myself. And as I've mentioned in the past, my problems are mainly postural. All right, moving into our glute stretch. Becoming aware of your deficiencies is the first step in overcoming them. And film your workouts anyways. Post them and hashtag weight endurance so I can see what you've got. So I can check to make sure that you're putting your full effort into these workouts. But for real, I would love to see you guys killing these workouts. All right, moving into our toe touch. All right, moving into shoulder circles, starting forward, small, moving larger. All right, going into a quick chest stretch. Moving into our post delt stretch. Now into our tricep stretch. All right, and last but not least, you know my favorite, our internal and external rotation. Sweet. 
switching positions, dumbbells up and down. I'm adding in just a few lateral raises. This is optional. If not, now is the time to add in your additional stretches. Otherwise, we're going right into round one. Grab your dumbbells for squat to press. Get set in three, two, one, go. No counting reps today, so that should be somewhat of a relief. And notice it says squat to press, not squat curl press. Even though we are doing the curl, we're just not putting emphasis or focus on it today. So we're just doing a fast paced motion here. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, switch. We're going into our push up. And if I'm taking too long to get set for any of these exercises, you can go ahead and start without me. Those extra seconds are only going to benefit you. Get set. And three, two, one, go. You got it, halfway. These are going to be tough after day nine. And rest. Going into our bicep curl next. Pick your poison, I'm choosing my heavier weights. Get set and go. Now I'm starting with a basic bicep curl. Notice how I'm turning the dumbbells on the way up. I have on the plan hammer curls, which you'll see me switch to. It's really up to you, but I'd like us to do this hammer curl variation where the dumbbells are coming up straight, wrists are not turning. Now if you are too sore to do some of these exercises, since we're all at different fitness levels, we all have different recovery rates, you can switch them out for anything of your choice. As long as you're moving and working, that's fine. If you need to drop your weight to switch to your lighter one to get through this set, do it. Just keep going. You've got this. Ten seconds. And rest. Awesome. Moving into our 30 second plank. Get set and go. Keeping the back flat, core tight, breathing. Ten seconds. You can do this. Stay up and rest. Perfect. Moving into our tricep kickback. I'm using my lighter dumbbells for this exercise. Get set and go. Maintaining a flat back, arms close to your sides. Get full range of motion with those dumbbells and squeeze those triceps, really focusing on that small muscle that we're working. The triceps have been one of my lagging areas that I'm now focusing on, so this, for one full minute, is tough for me.
If you need to rest, rest, especially on these one minute sets. Ten seconds. Awesome. Up next, moving into our shoulder press. As I said before, if I'm taking too long, go right into the exercise if you're ready. Get set in three, two, one, go for it. 30 seconds. Now this one's going to be tough. We just burned out our triceps, which are the assisting muscles for the movement that we're performing right now. So dig deep here. Ten seconds. Fight it. And rest. Moving into our single leg RDL, or perhaps you're doing a basic RDL. If you're doing single leg, grab one dumbbell in the hand of the leg that is going to be lifting. Get set and go. Thirty seconds. You are hinging at the hips here, same exact movement as our basic RDL. Nothing else is moving, so only focus on that hip joint. You're using that weight as a sort of counterbalance, which will help you. It is easier to do it, in my opinion, with a weight than with body weight. Five seconds. And switch. You've got this, stay focused. We have one exercise left. Keep everything tight, only moving at the hip joint. Slight bend in the knee. Awesome. Up next, moving into the mountain climber. I'm starting with steps, as you can see, and now I'm moving into our fast-paced jumping. It's almost a sliding movement for me here with this rug, which is fine. These are actually really fun to do if you have those furniture mover pads. You can put those under your feet and do it and slide really fast and get a crazy burn in your quads. And three, two, one, rest. <laughs> now besides that first and last exercise, this circuit didn't really contain any exercises that really get your heart pumping. So you should be able to recover from this round relatively quickly. If you need the time, go ahead and pause the video now. Otherwise, we're heading right into round two. All right, get set for round two, last round together, squat to press in three, two, one. One, go. Get as low as you can with your squats. If you're doing this with a partner right now, I don't care if it's your brother, your grandma, your best friend, your coworker, motivate them. Do not let them give up on these sets when they could get more reps. What is it Muhammad Ali said? He doesn't start counting his reps until it starts hurting because those are the only ones that count. That is the mindset here. Twenty seconds left. Push it. And three, two, one, switch. Moving into the push up. Get set and go. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up.
as low as you can, chest touching the floor. And three, two, one, switch. Up next, the bicep curl. If you can grab your heavy dumbbells, do it. Get set and go. If you're trying your heavy dumbbells for certain exercises and you're only getting one to two reps in, that's okay, that's how you progress. Do those one or two reps, then switch to your lighter weights. The next time, go for three with the heavier weights before switching to your lighter ones. Thirty seconds left. I'm switching to my lighter dumbbells. Ten seconds. Breathe. and rest. Up next, 30 second plank. Get set, and three, two, one, go. As you can see, I'm doing my plank variation from my hands right now. Maybe you're doing it from your elbows, maybe you're doing it from your knees. Maybe you're deciding to hold it for longer than 30 seconds. If 30 seconds is not failure to you in a plank, it's still okay to do a 30 second plank. You're still working the core. 10 seconds, I'm switching to my elbows. Keep the core tight. And rest. Halfway through the circuit, up next, a tricep kickback. Get set. Go. The slower you come down with the dumbbell, the better you're going to work that muscle. Small pause intervals are okay as long as you need it. If you are not feeling this burn yet, you better get your heavier weights. And three, two, one, rest. Up next, shoulder press. Last upper body exercise of this round or of the day if you're not planning on going into a third round. Get set and go. 30 seconds. Breathe. Almost there, 10 seconds, as many reps as you can. And rest. Up next, single leg RDL, grab your dumbbell. Get set. And go. Fifteen seconds. Five more seconds on this leg. Get another rep in. Awesome. Switch legs and go. Thirty seconds. Halfway there. Eight 
you got this and rest last but not least mountain climber get set and go 30 seconds Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome job today. If you are finished, go ahead and stretch out. If you're heading into round three, be sure to grab some water. Day 11 in the books, onward and upward tomorrow for day 12, core three.